Alicia here, and today we're doing a cordless clipper review video. So like my corded clipper review, I'm going to do the same exact thing, go over each clipper, but only showing cordless clippers today. I have five different pairs, so I hope you enjoy, and if you're in the market for cordless clippers, I hope this helps you decide which pair you would like. First, we have the Wall Barbera. And I did feature this in my last video. It is kind of more of a mini clipper. Some groomers do like using it for full grooms. Uh, it's got a five in one blade. So right now it's set on a 30 blade. So if I put it all the way over, that's your nine blade. One click over is a 10, a 15 blade, a 30 blade, and a 40 blade. If you're using the Wall Barbera for full grooms and you're using the slide on attachments that you can buy for them, you'll want to use it on the 40 blade. If you're using it just for little sanitary trims and stuff like that, you'll most likely want to use it on the 10 blade. Oops, sorry. <laughs> the 10 is nice and short, you get a nice clean sanitary cut. Usually some dogs can be a little too sensitive for it. It's not too short for them though. When you turn it on, it has the battery indicator showing you how many bars of life you have left. You can change the blade while the clippers are on. And then another cool thing, it just comes with a base. You just plop it down on the base and it starts charging. Now, if you're using your Brevera and they run out of juice and you want to continue using them, you can actually take the plug out from the back of the base and plug it into the clippers and use them corded. So that's a nice option because the battery can't come out of it. So they made it so you can still use them if the battery dies, just corded. So next we have the wall cam cordless. Now, if you watched my previous video, my wall cam tens were my favorite corded clippers. Uh, like the wall Brevera's, they have a cord that plugs in so they can be used corded if the battery happens to die. The battery is built in, so you can't just switch out batteries if it dies. So that's a nice option. What I don't like about that, though, they don't have a base to set in. So it's kind of a pain in the butt, in my opinion, if you're just trying to be quick. You have to, like, plug and then plug them, plug them back in. But it's nice to have that option to be able to plug them in if your battery does die. They are a little heavier, of course, than the KM corded because they got the built-in battery, but they're still pretty lightweight. They're very quiet, which I love. And they work just the same as the KM cordless, in my opinion. Uh, the only thing I found that I'm not liking with these is, for me, since they're a little smaller in my hand, I feel like they're not as balanced as some other cordless clippers I use, so I don't love that. And for some reason, I feel like they heat up my blades extremely fast. I can use the same blades on these as I can my other clippers, and I can get a whole dog shaved with my other clippers without the blade getting too hot with these. It's like I gotta swap out my blade two or three times because it's just heating up. And it's weird because the speeds really aren't different. I keep my blades well oiled, so I'm not really sure what's up with that, but it's not a huge make it or break it type of thing. Again, this is the wall cam cordless. It's two speeds, one speed, two speed. Very nice, just like the corded version. And like I said, if the battery does run out, you can just plug them in and keep going. Andis recently came out with these two speed Andis Excel clippers. They are cordless. Like the walls, they have a cord that you can plug in. So if the battery were to die, you can keep going. Also like the walls, they don't have a base. They just have the plug in. So again, I don't love that. They're pretty similar to the walls in shape and size. The walls are a little bigger. I would say they're maybe a tiny bit lighter but it's not very noticeable. They come with this cool little grip. They, like the walls, are two-speed. 
very quiet, which is very nice. They work great. Uh, I will say, like I noted about the KM cordless, they seem to heat up very quickly. I'm not sure why, but that kind of bothers me a little bit because my normal clippers don't. Uh, and then one last thing about these, I'm sorry if you're interested in these while making the video, they have been recently recalled. They have some issues going on with the switch. Overall, this pair has worked pretty well, but sometimes we'll be grooming and they'll just shut off and we can't get them to shut back on or turn back on, even plugged in. It's really funky. Uh, so we did contact Andis and they're taking care of that, but they have discontinued these. But I figured I would still show them just in case you have a pair or if you're still interested in trying a pair or if they end up working out the kinks and coming back out with them. They are very nice and light. They fit well in your hand. The speeds are great, but they're having an issue with the switch. Kind of similar to their bigger version, the Andis Pulse ZRs. Twos. They seem to have a lot of issues with their switches too. So I have never bought a pair. Now on to my favorite ones. So in my last video, I did show the Heininger Sapphires. Not much has changed with them. They are still single speed. They are a little loud, like I noted in my last video. But they go through everything. I love these clippers. So one thing to notice, unlike these two, these clippers, the Heininger Sapphire and the Heininger Opals, have a base. You just drop them down in and they start charging. The biggest difference between the two bases is, Hershey, sorry, is with the Sapphires, the spare battery has its own little spot. And it will actually charge independently. So, yes, the base is a little bit bigger. But I like the option that the spare battery can be charging while the other battery is in the clipper is charging. So that's nice. The Heininger Opals are two-speed. And they're brushless, unlike the Sapphire, so they are quieter. One-speed. Two-speed. Same design, really, same fit, pretty much same weight. I think they're a tiny bit lighter. My biggest gripe with the Opals is their charging base. So the Sapphires, you can plug the extra battery in, and it will charge. The Opals, they have a slot for a spare battery. I did not buy the second battery. I can demonstrate. So you can put the spare battery in there, but there's no way for it to charge while it's in there. So, it's like, okay. So, my issue with that is I'm really OCD about putting my clippers back whenever I'm not using them. I don't want them to fall off the table. I don't want them to fall somewhere. So, say I used up my battery and I want it sitting in here charging. I now can't set my clippers in. So, if I want to move it out of the way, Move it to the back, I can set my clippers in. Now my spare battery is not charging. So when this battery dies, both my batteries are dead. Not really sure why they did this, but I don't like it. So I do really prefer the base on the Sapphire. Overall, they're pretty similar clippers size wise. Biggest differences are the opals. Sorry, the opals are brushless and two-speed, versus the sapphires being one-speed, and the sapphires are louder. Did you make a little squeak noise kind of when you turn them on? It's normal. Let's see if I can record it. it just kind of makes a little noise. That seems to be completely normal, nothing to be concerned about. I pretty much always use them on the one speed. I've never really had a reason to use them on the higher speed. They go through every coat. And 
like I was saying on these two clippers, how they heat up blades pretty quickly. These don't. I can literally shave an entire dog and my blades still feel perfectly fine to be using. These, I can go five, maybe 10 minutes and my blade starts burning up and I got to switch it out. I use the same exact blades on all four pairs. All the blades are taken care of the same. So if I were to have to choose, I would definitely stick with the Heinegers. They are a higher price point though. So if you're just wanting to get into cordless, see if you like it, or if you like the option of being able to plug them in if the battery dies, the KM10s or uh, KM cordless are a really nice option. And then, of course, there are the Wall Breveras, but as I said in my previous video, they are more so for lighter work. They are not going to get through super matted coats. They're going to struggle through super thick coats unless your prep work is just really on point. All right, so I'm going to stop here and get my dog prepped, and I will show you how they all work. All right, we're back. So to recap, we have the Wall Breveras, which takes the five-in-one blade. The Wall KM Cordless takes any A5 detachable blade. And this is two-speed Excel, also takes any A5 blade. Heininger Sapphire and Heininger Opal. These four all take detachable blades. The Wall Breveras just takes the five-in-one blade. So the Wall Brevera, I set it to a 40. It has its own type of attachments for my wall. They just slide on the blade. Set it on a 40. Slide it on, and you're good to go. It's nice and quiet. It's a little smaller. It's not as heavy duty, though. I'll start at the back of the head. And we're getting stuck. We're getting a little bit off. I'm gonna try another blade just to make sure. This was a fresh blade. Just in case it's a blade issue. So again, slide it on. Make sure it's set to a 40. Ah, that one goes through better. Let's see going through. It just doesn't have as much power as these next clippers, you'll see. But it can get through as long as your dog is really well prepped. She's bathed, dried on the the skin, fluffed up, completely combed. We'll start with the wall KM10, or KM cordless, sorry, it's the KM10 cordless model. I'm going to use my 30 blade. It's a 30 fur zone blade. I really like Fur Zone. I like the Tarot Blades, Buttercut, Lalby, Heininger Blades are all really nice. So again, I'm going to use the same size attachment, so you'll see. They are a little different, a little bigger. The one for the 5 one blade slides on. The one for the detachable blades has these little hooks at the bottom. They hook on the back of the blade, and you pull them up. They have a spring in them. So I'll hook it on the bottom. And I just push it up over. One speed, two speed, one speed. Throw it back in there. It goes through nicely. Really, my only complaint with these is about how they don't have a base. And they just seem to heat up blades really quickly. But as you can see, they go through beautifully. Just like the KM10's supported version. Really do like them. I just happen to like the Avengers more. <laughs> but sometimes that comes down to personal preference too. And this Excel two speed, one speed. Two speed. One speed. And as you can see, they pretty much perform the same. Go right through it. No issues. They're lightweight. 
for me, for how I hold my clippers, they feel a little small in my hand. I tend to not have like a death grip on my clippers when I'm clipping. I kind of just hold them in my fingertips. So it just kind of makes them feel a little unbalanced and a little just too small for me. That's, again, more of a personal preference. They don't have the base, which I don't love. And then remember, these have been recalled. So you can kind of buy at your own risk. Mine are just sapphires. I've had these pair for a little over a year. They are louder, but they work beautifully. They're only one seed, so you don't have to worry about anything like that. They just go right through everything. I've never had an issue getting them through any coat. I love these clippers a lot. I just wish they were a little quieter. They have the base that I love, so when I'm not using them, I'm just dropping down in the base. They have the spare battery. The spare battery can charge in its own little spot when I'm not using them. I really don't have anything bad to say about these besides just how loud they are, but a lot of dogs don't seem to mind it. They get used to it. Puppies, they can scare puppies a little more, so I gotta do a little more desensitizing with them. Or I can, puppies, sometimes the Walber Bears are great for. They are smaller, quieter. And then the newer Heininger Opals. So if you notice, I put the blade on, but I don't actually snap it down until I turn them on. Turn them on, and I snap them right down. And now I'm kind of shaving the same spot. Back brushing. After you shave, you should always back brush. Put the hair stand up again, and look how much more comes off. Usually, the first pass you miss some. The blades will sometimes just push some of the hair down because the hair is so thick. So, you want to back brush it up and go over again. Some dogs, you got to do that a few times. Again, these just go through everything. I really only use them on the slower speed. And during 15 years since I was 17, which is a long time ago. <laughs> and I have personally never needed to need the faster clippers. I wouldn't say I'm a slow groomer, but I care more about the clippers having the power and the torque. And that's what these have, the Heinegers have, the K and the Cordless has. They don't rely on the speed necessarily get some thick coats. Their motors just have that power there. Yeah, come back brush up. A little more off. So they have the base that I love. They can sit down in. But their base does not have the ability to charge both batteries at the same time like the Sapphire. So that's my biggest gripe about them. I don't know why. They change that. If they come out with a new base, I'd probably buy it, and then I would actually buy the spare batteries. But because I'm usually so OCD about putting my clippers on the base when I'm not using them, I feel who never build a battery on them. So that's the biggest difference between the Anis Excels and the KM Cordless. You can't just set them down in the base when you're not using it. You plug them in, and unplug them. So for me, personally, when I was using them, I just leave them unplugged the whole time. I go through it, and then while I'm bathing and drying my next dog, I plug them in, and then they're usually good to go for when I'm ready to groom. These, I just set them down in the base when I'm not using them, pick them back up when I need them. It just feels so much faster, easier. I love it. They can't be plugged in, so I cannot use them if the batteries are dead. But the sapphires, I have the spare battery for, so I can just swap out the battery. Not a big deal. One big difference between the batteries, the sapphire's battery does have a level indicator. So you just push this little button. You can see it has a full charge. Push Swiss. The sapphire does not have that. I don't really think that's too big of a deal. But just a recap. Wall Bavaras, 
by the one blade. Okay, I'm cordless by wall and Andis XL2 speed. They're great clippers. They're a little cheaper. They're lightweight. They're a little smaller in your hand, but they have to be plugged in. The battery does not come out of them to change it if it dies. You have to plug them in. They can be used while plugged in. So not a huge deal. Highlander's Opal, or Highlander Sapphire, Highlander Opal. The batteries do come out. There's a little battery release here. So if you have the spare battery, the battery dies, just swap the battery out, continue going with the Highlander Sapphire's base. The battery can be charging while you're using the other one. And then you can still put them in the base because it has two charging slots. Opal does not. Only one spot can charge. So if you need to be charging your spare battery, you cannot set the clippers in the base. Thank you, Paris, for being a lovely model. Uh, if I were to buy another pair again, I would honestly go between the Highlanders. I wish the Opals would have the same base as the Sapphires because then they would win. It's really a toss up between the two. I love them both. I like my Breveras for little things. I don't really like them for full grooms. Sometimes for puppies, they're great though, but they're nice for doing pads and sanitary. These are really nice options. They're about half the price. I don't like how they charge. And for some reason, my blades just heat up extremely fast on them. My blades are really well oiled. I could get all of Miss Paris shaved with my Heininger blade, with my Heininger clippers, with the same blade, and they will not be hot when I'm done. I can spend like 30 minutes shaving her if I had to. It won't be hot. With these two, within five to 10 minutes, my blade is burning up and I gotta swap blades. So just something to think about. I hope you enjoy. I hope this helps with your future pur purchases. I wish I could have reviewed more, but just keep in mind, I'm independent. I gotta buy each pair of clippers myself. So if you have any requests, I'll see what I can do. Have a good day and happy dreaming.